And just like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching to the sober Just like a soldier What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. My name is Chris Kellum. I am in the Florida Army National Guard. If you guys have been following my channel for a while now, you guys know that I've been working towards becoming a pilot in the Florida Army National Guard. It's been a dream and a goal of mine for some time now. Pretty much ever since I joined the Guard back in 2011, there have been some hiccups and some roadblocks and speed bumps along the way, but we've been persevering through it all. And uh, my latest challenge, if you guys have been following me for the past year, you guys know that I found out I had a heart condition that would limit me from going to flight school and the military would want me to get it corrected and fixed. And um, in a previous video, you guys go check it out. It's called Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome. I've done two heart procedures and they're called cardiac ablations. Basically, the doctor goes in through the groins, the arteries, they go up there with catheters and they work their way to the heart and they do somewhat calculated burns on the heart. I think the goal with the burns is to create scarring and when the heart scars, um, it stops that rhythm. So, my first procedure didn't go as planned. They couldn't find the rhythm, so I had to just stop that procedure. Procedure number two, which was in July, they found it, they ablated it. The doctor said he did several ablations and he said they weren't calculated ablations either, which kind of blew my mind. So, of course, it wasn't a success. I just went to the hospital Monday for my follow-up. They did an EKG. They were able to see the rhythm in my heart on the EKG. So, unfortunately, procedure number two was not a success. And this is something that could hinder me from going to flight school. Now, I just submitted my flight packet last week for the interview next month. But I need to get a waiver from Fort Rucker to even go to flight school. So, my doctor is going to write a note because I've explained before in other videos that this heart condition that I have isn't serious. Um, the doctor said I could have won my whole life without even knowing I had it. It's intermittent. He calls it a cosmetic procedure for the military. So I'm hoping that with trying to do two procedures, with having the doctor write a note, explain it to Fort Rucker and the flight surgeons about my condition, that maybe I can get a waiver. Um, but if not, that means I would have to do this procedure a third time. Now, I wouldn't do it with the same doctor. He said he would fee base it, so I went through the VA, but he would fee base it to one of the top doctors here in Florida uh, out of UF. So we'll see when we have to cross that path. But my goal right now is to see if Fort Rucker will give me a waiver because to be honest, it's mentally draining, physically draining to do these procedures. I know they're minimal procedures, but one has to do with the heart. Two, I'm under anesthesia for about eight or nine hours. And then the recovery is about a month long. I can't work out, I can't do things that I love. I have to take blood thinners and it's just not a good time. And then the risk, there's a lot of risk involved with this procedure. It's very minimal that something could happen, but I could end up with a pacemaker. And that's not something I want as a 28 year old. And you know, I might have to make some big hard decisions here soon about not pursuing my dream to become a pilot, but there are other avenues that I can take and uh, I might exercise those options down down the road. But I wanted to be transparent with you guys and let you guys know because this is something that I've been chasing for ever since I started my YouTube channel back in 2018. And uh, you know, it's disappointing, a little disappointing, but I've been adamant about trying to get things fixed, about working through the process. Like my packet's complete. I passed two flight physicals, but this one issue is holding me back. And uh, 
it's it's tough to cope with for sure, especially when you've dedicated so much time towards it. But I think in the meantime, what I'm gonna do, because I felt so stagnant in my career, is I'm gonna put an OCS packet in to go to officer candidate school. And in the meantime, I'll use that time to decide on if I wanna go through with another procedure, because I think you have until about 31 or 32 um, as the cutoff to go to flight school. So we have about like a couple years to, to think about it and to see if I actually wanna go through with that procedure again. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Just wanna be transparent guys. It's been a really tough year, two years, you know, failed jobs, heart procedures, uh, moving a bunch of times. You know, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that you guys don't even know about. But, you know, I try to keep this optimistic, positive mindset, and that's, that's who I am. I'm always optimistic, I'm always positive, I'm always hopeful that the future is gonna work out. So, if I don't decide to take this path, I know there's something greater out there for me and uh, I'm excited to continue to document my life and just show you what's going on. I hope, I hope I'm able to inspire at least one person to do something out of their comfort zone. And if I could do that, that's all I ask. You know, it's the messages I get on Instagram, the messages I get in the comments about, you know, the little things that I do that inspire you guys it means a lot to me. Um, so I appreciate you guys. Like I don't, without having this this channel, without having this following or the support, you know, and the gratitude you guys show me, it makes me grateful. So I want to thank you guys for that. And uh, yeah, that's the update. So submitted my my flight packet. We're waiting to hear back from Fort Rucker or one of the flight surgeons to see if, you know, some in a note from the doctor will get me a waiver. So let's let's hope that works. If not, then I got some big decisions to make about doing another heart procedure. But uh, a lot of great things happening. You know, I just went through this master resilience training course and uh, one of the things was hunt the good stuff and I've naturally done that my whole life but I do wanna make a video about going through the Master Resilience Training course. It's a, it's not the full course because you have to be an E6, I believe, to go or an E5 with a waiver, but I was able to go sit in on the course and get a certificate to be an assistant, and I learned a lot of stuff to become resilient and uh, stuff that I, I've naturally done, so I'm really thankful, and it's gonna be a nice tool to have in my toolbox for future soldiers and you know becoming a leader. But yeah, good stuff is happening. A lot of good news to share with you guys in the next week or two. So I'm excited to show you guys my next big thing that's going on. So if you guys could smash that thumbs up, maybe subscribe, continue to follow my journey that I continue to document. If you guys are looking for workouts, fitness programs, my fitness app is down below. You get access to a bunch of different workout programs that I've created with my videos and then my meal plan as well. Hope you guys have a phenomenal weekend and looking forward to sharing some amazing news with you guys here in the next week or so. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.